Hey everyone, what's up and welcome back to another reading vlog. This week um, I'm actually combining the two vlogs so this is going to be an intro to both of the vlogs. So if you've watched my previous vlogs, I think it was in Belladonna, I mentioned that I got bronchitis halfway through filming my reaction to Six of Crows. So I'm just gonna mash them together. I'm reading Crooked Kingdom with my friend this week so um halfway through six of crows i think i stopped filming at the end of this video or this vlog i'm going to combine my thoughts and feelings about it all if you've read six of crows cool i'm gonna continue with crooked kingdom and there might be minor spoilers because i mean something happened at the end of the book that just you know it, it, it shocked me and it shocked my friend okay so that is the plan for this week. Uh, I'm also reading other books, but hopefully this is my main priority. I'm showing you a closed Kindle. That's nice. Anyway, so those are the plans for this week. I hope you guys enjoy this vlog. I hope you guys are excited and let's just jump right into it. Welcome. Um, yes, I did change my hair again. Uh, it's like getting a tattoo. Once you do it, you can't stop. It's just so fun. You know, to get a new change, to get everything. I don't know what my fringe is doing in the side. It's just, it's good. Anyway, I curled it this morning and I think the curls are kind of falling off. So we're going to go with what it is. I am reading Six of Crows this week. <laughs> and I've got the flu. So ain't that great. So yeah, I'm reading Six of Crows this week with my best friend. I don't know what this is about. Mostly, the thing I like now about books is I like going in blind. Don't want to know what the books are about. If it's overhyped, cool. I'm reading it. I don't want to read the description, which is probably not how I should promote my reading experience. But I know a lot of people know what Six of Crows is about, so whatever. So yeah, I am going to be reading this. For today, we are only reading part one, which is probably not a big chunk with is it oh it is a big chunk i lied it's got a map <laughs> okay so i'll be reading that for today excited for it i've heard great things about it i am winded because i'm sick <laughs> so it's going good anyway guten tag meine liebschen don't ask me why i'm german today anyway <laughs> uh <coughs> wow that hurt okay i was at the doctor today i don't know if you can see my pile of medication in the background but I've got bronchitis. So, you know, it's going great. I'm feeling fantastic. But anyway, last night I didn't get to the first part. I just couldn't finish it at all. I got up until chapter five, which is close to the part. And then I just started drifting. Like my brain finally decided to shut down. And it was like, okay, we're going to bed now. So today while working it was actually it's it's actually a very slow day today which i'm very thankful for because i need to take it slow today i need something for this chair because the squeaking is driving me up the wall anyway not the point i was trying to make so this morning i got up until bar two then i had to go to the doctor i kid you not I like this new doctor that I'm going to. She was very efficient. But anyway, I was I just finished reading like four pages and then she called me and I was like, oh, okay. So I didn't get very far into part two. <laughs> like I'm I'm just at part two. That's a little spiel for you. Anyway, so I can finally tell you what this book is about. We get Kaz Bracco. He's like a criminal prodigy. Why can't I say that word? Prodigy. There we go. <laughs> say it slow, say it with me. That's not where I wanted that conversation to go. But anyway. And, um, you know, everyone fears him. Um, there's a couple of gangs around this area as well, but they all... His gang is, like, the ultimate people. So, I, I'm still trying to wrap my brain around the fact that everyone in here is 17. But, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> so, anyway, he's asked to bring... This guy makes, like, high-intense drugs, which enhances the Grisha's abilities. It makes them actually very dangerous. So the merchants or the head of the merchants or the merchants council, I think that's what they call, they call him in and they're like, we want you to get this doctor or the scientist or whatever he is out of an impenetrable fortress. And Kaz laughs at them and he's like, you know, enjoy your chaotic mess while you can because there's no way A, he's alive and B, I'm going to get in there. And if I get in there, how the hell am I going to get out there? And the merchant council is just like, but you have to. Otherwise, it's war. There's always war. Anyway, so yeah, that is basically where we are. Um, he's trying to find people who are basically, who have talents that can break into this ice court and break out. 
obviously and it's obviously for a lot of money because Cavs doesn't do anything for free or unwarranted it, it's a very interesting it's like a heist book i should probably say that it's it's a criminal heist and i hear a lot of people say they like this book especially a lot of people say they like it more than um the shadow and bone trilogy so i'm intrigued to see where this is going i wish i could get the audiobook because I don't know if you guys can see, my eyes are very pudgy. Well, not pudgy, but it's heavy. And I don't think I'll be able to read today. Like, I can sit and stare at the screen the whole day, not reading. But I think I'm going to fall asleep if I read this book. Which is kind of a bummer, because I have like 100 pages to read. How much is there? Basically 100 pages. So maybe if I read a chapter an hour, I'll be fine. It's currently just before 12, so... I don't know. The positive side, going back to my flu, is... The doctor gave me medicine that numbs my throat because I thought I had a wet cough and it started as a wet cough. It's not anymore. It's a hell of a dry cough and it's horrible. And she says the area where we live is also susceptible to people getting chronic allergies. And I'm like, great. Anything else you want to add that? Like chronic allergies, acute gastritis, bronchitis. No, nah, but let's just go TMJ. Um, anyway. So yeah, she, she mentioned that and I'm like, so it could explain why I have been sick in this area more times than I have been at home. Most likely my body's only going to eventually climatize to the area, but yeah, it's, it's exhausting. I hate being sick. Like, I don't want to be sick. Hello everyone, it's been a while. Um, it's not that I forgot to update, I just got into the book too much and there was just too much stuff happening, so here we are. I'm on part 5, I'm gonna lie to you. So, I'm on part 5 of Crooked Kingdom. It is the book's name, right? This is... <laughs> yes. Okay, so a lot of stuff has happened. I did on... I think I updated you last on Monday, or just told you I was going to read the book. Um, but yeah, I don't know what, what to say without giving spoilers because I don't want to give spoilers but at the same time this is like the second book so you're going to know what's going to happen in the book. All I'm going to say is Kaz needs to tell Inej how he feels. Like really, he needs to tell her. Jasper, that poor child. <laughs> and then Wallen as well. I feel so sorry for him. I was so shocked to learn what his father actually planned to do with him. Like, sending him to that musical school or wherever. Um, I told my friend, I was like, I didn't expect this to happen. She's like, the moment he said he's sending him to a music school, she knew what was going to transpire. And I'm like, yeah, no, I didn't. <laughs> I wasn't even thinking that. And then also with his mother, the secrets that his father kept about his mother. And I'm just like, wow, okay. So, Wanan, I have a soft spot for. We are trying to theorize what he actually has because I told my friend that I don't think he has dyslexia so maybe it's a form of autism or maybe he just doesn't like to read you know but from what I can gather is he doesn't understand words but he understands numbers and stuff so I think it's a form of autism I don't know I could be wrong with this but that is my theory and then in Neja's new combat you know like her what what is she called the white blade or something can we please drop her off from a save and story building. I just, I don't like her. I really don't. And my friend said in the show, she, who they turned into a he, had became a very big problem. So I, I don't like the white blade, okay? I wish Inej would have just, you know, like shoved her off a silo or something. I don't know. It's a, all these things are happening and it's not good. I hate it <laughs> but obviously it's for driving the plot and everything and everything is just going wrong and yeah i think i also told my friend the fact that we're giving we're getting so much backstory about each and every character why someone's gonna die i have a feeling someone's gonna die and i also have a feeling who but i could be wrong i could entirely be wrong and this could all be you know fake <laughs> it's just i think lee Bodugo just wants to make you think someone's gonna die but also the fact that everyone is now against Kaz, even his, well, Kaz and the Dregs, even the Dregs itself, like, the six of them are standing against every single gang group in Ketadam. And I'm just like, okay. So I'm going to see what's going to happen in part five. I already read the first chapter of part five where Jasper kissed. You know, the kissing scene? Oh, that was 
I knew. I just knew. I that is all I'm gonna say. I just knew. And then yeah. <laughs> it's it's a whole lot of me spewing thoughts and not a lot of thinking. But we're just gonna see how everything goes. Okay, part five is rather big. Um I don't know if you can see hold on. Let me just move back to let me see if I can zoom in for you. I don't know what I just did. But part five is from here till there. That is a hell of a lot of pages. Hold on. It's, we start at 62% and we end at 81%. This is going to be a long reading day. <laughs> and I have like a meeting with my boss. So, so page chapter 24 to chapter 33. It's, it's a long one. And most of these chapters are going to be long as well. So we're just going to see how that goes. I've also been highlighting a boatload. Especially between Jesper and Wylan. Uh, Jesper's quips is just so funny to me. And sometimes Matthias also has this funny things he says. Um, so, I don't know. Once I read the book, if you want to hop on over to my Goodreads, I will be making all the highlights available that aren't spoilers. Because <laughs> they're just so funny. I just, I just love these characters. Um, my best friend and I concluded last night that this is by far our favourite series so far. Between, obviously, Shadow and Bone and the Six of Crows duology, this is the series. We still haven't jumped into the King of Scars situation but both of us are very big Nikolai stands as well so we're gonna see how that one goes next month yeah it's all around just a good time but a anxious good time so we'll see how that goes hello everyone welcome to the end of the vlog a few days later <sighs> this book it ripped out my heart and it stomped on it and then shoved it back in <laughs> if you guys read the ending around where things could go better but they don't yeah that <laughs> i don't know how to say it it was just it was a roller coaster of a ride of a book um both these books i think are four and a half stars i really enjoyed them they're just not my favorite <laughs> so i'm gonna keep them at four and a half around the stars but i really did enjoy them i enjoy the in like how kaz's brain works and how he always comes up with a solution no matter how deep in the doo-doo he is. <laughs> like he, he always comes up with a plan. And that is, yeah, I applaud him for that. I was, however, upset that we didn't get a lot of romance between Inej and Kaz. But I also understand why. Because, I mean, Kaz is the way he is with the gloves and the, the, the weird stuff. And then Inej, I think, you know, she's also been through a lot. So it's understandable the way she reacts to affection and stuff. So I can see why it is. I'm not going to spoil what happened in the end but just know i was right about saying that someone was going to die are they important to the story maybe are they not who knows you need to figure it out for yourself but it's just yeah it was nail biting and i really enjoyed it um but i think that's about it that i can say about this book i really don't want to spoil a lot for everyone um if you still haven't read the series or if you want to dive into the series i would highly recommend reading them. Um, I've seen a lot of people praise the Six of Crows duology more than Shadow and Bone, which is fair. You can see Lee Bordugo grow in her writing style. I love the writing. There wasn't a part where I thought, Ugh, this is draggy, like I wanted to just continue. Um, the fact that the last part had like 10 chapters made me a bit nervous because I know Lee Bordugo likes thick chapters. So when I saw the amount of chapters, I was like, oh, this is going to be a long ass book. But it wasn't. The last few chapters are, I won't say they're short, but they, they manageable. Like you can get through them very easily. I don't know why I'm giving you that information. Like <laughs> the book is 500 and something pages. 549 or something like that and when I saw it the first time I was like okay this is gonna take us a while especially if the chapters are so long but like I say with each chapter you get new information and there's not a part in the chapter where I thought why is this given to us um it was more of a fact that I need more information I really do and not a lot has well a lot has been given to you but yeah it, it rounds up very nicely I thought I saw a bug on the window <laughs> I'm going to interrupt this video to say I did indeed see an insect. It was just a four-legged, five, eight-legged insect and it's moving and... <laughs> Where'd it go? Oh, I found it. And I don't want to move because it's like half alive. So every time the wind blows, it just moves a bit. 
I just got the chills. But let me. I don't know if you're gonna see it. Hold on. I don't know if you guys can see it. Alright. See, it's still alive, but. Surf. Surf. Ma'am. <laughs> I'm scared. The, the the book rounds up very nicely and I really enjoyed it. Um, Felt a bit rushed at the same time, but also what can you do? It's a duology. So next month it is the King of Skulls and Rule of Wolves duology. Not together. I can't remember which one is first. I think it's King of Skulls. So my best friend and I will be reading that if she can get over the fact that Lee Bordugo did what she did <laughs> in Crooked Kingdom. So we're just gonna slowly walk our way through that book and hopefully it won't be as bad. But uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to like, subscribe, comment down below if you read the duology or if you want to read the duology. Um, or comment down below who your favourite characters are. And I'll see you guys in the video next week.